Shannon. I am super excitedly terrified to announce that due to the uh, success of our Spoon and Meeple's Gen Con event announcement and whatnot, we sold out. I mean, we had already been kind of sold out, and now we're like way more sold out. And so Gen Con upgraded our room size, and they didn't just double it, they didn't just triple it, they like triple and a half it. Basically, uh, we went from 80 seats to 300 seats, so we definitely have seats uh, for the Gen Con event now. So if you were trying to get tickets to the Gen Con event before, reminder, it's free. You just need to get tickets to guarantee yourself a seat. There are now, there are now tickets. As far as, I mean, last I checked, there are definitely tickets still, so check that out. But the success of our Gen Con event is not actually, in fact, what this video is about. This video is about game storage solutions. I don't actually mean storing of your games, I mean inside of the game box. And the reason that this came up to me is because I recently got Caverna, which has a lot of pieces, and I like it, but I'm a bagger, which sounds weird, but I, I like plastic bags for my game storage, but with Caverna, it just doesn't work. I end up with a ton of plastic bags, which yes, stores the materials, but whenever we want to play, I have to like dump them out, and then when we're done, we have to sort them and put them back. It's just really frustrating. And then we just have a smorgasbord of plastic baggies, which are great, but it makes setup kind of long. Plastic baggies work. They don't not work. It just, I feel like there's a better way. I mean, yeah, I don't, oh, well, there went that. But, yeah, so while I go ahead and pick up this and figure out my own storage solution for Belfort, go ahead and take a look at some of these clips that people sent me from the internet. And I'll see you, Rhiannon, and the internet, in my next video, two weeks, two weeks from now, three weeks, I don't even know. I just, I'm gonna go pick this up, okay. Hey Tiffany, when I heard your topic today was about storage, I couldn't think of any other game except X-Wing. Not because my storage is generally awesome, but because my storage is generally cheap. When I go to tournaments and things like that, I see lots of guys using these big battle foam cases, and they're really cool, but they're really expensive. But I found that the cheaper options for me work just as well. They maybe don't protect the models as well, but they are easy to transport. As long as you don't treat them rough, it's not too bad. My storage at home are really cheap, $1.99. Uh, bead boxes that you can get at any hobby store. I've got mine here from a local hobby store. Really cheap. I use them for other games as well. I store dice in this for Dice Masters as well, but uh, for X-Wing, the store ships very easily. All the regular size ships, not like the uh, Millennium Falcon size ships, but anything normal size fits in here. And the other box we have, it's kind of a unique box. It's one from uh, Plano. Uh, we actually got from a friend, so I'm not sure the exact model number, but I have seen it in stores. And this is actually a two-part box. Uh, it has two sides that are identical, and you can customize the slots for them. Uh, but the reason we use it is for tournaments. When me and Sarah go to tournaments, we can each have one side of the box and have all our equipment for one tournament, like just our tournament squad, all our templates and things like that, and it all fits in one box. And when we get to the event, we can just split it apart, bust it loose, and go our separate ways until we meet up in between rounds. So, really useful stuff. If you want more protection for the models, you can always use pluck foam and just put foam in there, or uh, as a miniature gamer, I end up with foam from other stuff. I can just throw it in there, and it's useful for that. Uh, but otherwise, it's a really cheap solution. That Plano box that I show is really cheap, and those bead boxes are, like like I said, two bucks or less. So uh, if you ever get into the miniature games, things like that, those are good things to look into. Thanks for the topic, Tiffany. Hopefully those solutions help somebody play an X-Wing. Hi, my name is Corey Young, and I'm a big fan of Tiffany's work, and I saw her request for people to talk about box inserts and what they do for organizing their games. And yes, this is self-serving. I'm the guy who made Gravwell, and I'm going to talk about what I've done with my Gravwell box. For the components in Gravwell, there are almost none. There are, there are six ships and a pawn and a small deck of cards, which leaves a very large insert. Things don't rattle around too much in here, but even at that, I like to get this a little bit more organized than it is. So the first thing I do is I pull out this insert. It's a good insert. I love the black. And I completely invert it. And I just magic and it gets inverted. When you invert it, it looks like this. The part that stands up is in the center and the other parts are the, are the holes. So what have I done here? Well, these are my ships over here to the left. And the ships are packed away in foam here because I switched 
the bases on mine. Rather than using the small um, sturdy bases that come with it, I use a little bit larger bases. These are a bit more fragile than the, than the ones that ship with the normal game. These come from Games Workshop. It's about an inch in diameter. The base of the ship is about an inch in diameter. But this stops it from falling over while we're playing. And that was driving me a little bit nuts. So I, got, so I switched to these bases. I like them. They look nice. But they're a little bit fragile. So I pack them in this foam material. And I don't know if I can get that in good light. But all the ships are packed there in that foam material. That foam material also comes from Games Workshop, and it looks like this in its raw form. It's got a, a rigid backing, and then it's cut into centimeter squares that you can pop out, and usually this is used for storing miniatures. I'm store, using it to store miniatures. And then my cards. Um, this box is available on BoardGameGeek on the um, Grabwell site. You can find a link to this. You can print that off. I printed it off on Domtar 60 pound paper. It makes a pretty good box and it holds all the cards for the entire game, including sleeves. So it's a very nice size box. It looks great and uh, so I, I'm a big fan of that. I appreciate a fan for putting that together. Thank you, Tiffany. Keep doing the great work. Bye. Tiffany, hi. It's Sean from Smashing Plastic. You asked on Twitter if we could share our custom box inserts and I've done one for Smash Up, so I thought I'd give you a quick look. One of the problems with Smash Up is the more expansions you get, the better the game gets. Now, there's not really much of a problem, but you can't fit them all into the core box with the original box insert. So what I've done is I've created this sort of flippy flappy channel system for holding all the different factions in the sleeves that I've got for them. The way I did that, and this is going to suck, uh, is I took this corrugated cardboard here and I cut it into individual sheets where they keep wrapping over each other and wrapping around each other. Then I slipped them down the middle and put another corrugated sheet in the middle to, to, to subdivide it and taped it all together to strategic points. That means that I can individually go through and check all the different factions and which one I've, I've found I'm sure I'm going to play today and I can get that out and yeah, keep it all neat, ni nice and neatly organized. Unfortunately, now I've got to put it all back in the box. One good thing about my little setup here is as you flip through, you can see the individual team icons in the top corner of each, of each section. So that makes it really easy to decide, you know, to find the ones you're looking for. The bad news is I'm pretty much chock-a-block here. I mean, with the madness cards and my tokens and my bases, and where else am I going to fit anything? But then I've got three expansions to smash up. Do I really need any more? Thanks for the opportunity to catch up with your audience and to share with you. Really appreciate it, and I really appreciate also the opportunity to show you how much better chocolate labradoodles are to corgis. Isn't he a beautiful lad? Oh, he's a good dog.